It's been 77 years since the United States dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing tens of thousands of civilians and injuring tens of thousands more. But one question has always lingered. Why hasn't the U.S. ever officially apologized for acts that many have deemed war crimes? There are a few theories as to why the U.S. has refused to offer a formal apology. First, that it's either us or them mentality. In 1995, President Bill Clinton said no apology was needed because the bombs ended World War II, agreeing with several of his predecessors that the decision saved countless American lives. American textbooks have advanced the narrative that the bombs or drop to end the war, and if they hadn't been, U.S. forces would have been forced to invade Japan, leading to many more American casualties. However, according to Current Affairs magazine The Diplomat, the U.S. had other options to secure Japanese surrender, like formal negotiations or a continued economic blockade. Second reason? Possible demands of compensation. The Diplomat goes on to theorize that the U.S. could also be staying firm because apologizing could prompt demands of compensation for individuals on the Marshall Islands, who were affected by contaminated land due to American nuclear bomb testing following the war. Third, we simply don't deal in apologies. As Dartmouth College professor and author Jennifer Lynn told the Washington Post, it's just not our thing. But that doesn't just go for the U.S. Other countries are like that too, with two major exceptions being Japan itself as well as Germany.